Howdy, y'all. I'm Frank Wood, and I'm a U.S. Army JROTC Army instructor at C. Elson High School in Colleen, Texas. It's an old question. Is leadership and its qualities, are they inherited? Are leaders born? Or can leaders be made, and can leadership be, lear be learned? If leaders can be grown, if leadership can be learned, what part does differentiation play in that learning process? Originally, I and my fellow instructors observed uh, a large uh, difference in the scores of each of the companies for the in-ranks inspection. Many of the companies were in the low 70 to 80 percentiles with only one company to be in the 90 percentile. So we implemented a pre-inspection program with very little guidance for the second and third year cadets in order to allow them an ability to be a leader and inspire and directly influence the first year cadets. We saw uh, some success with this, however, uh, it was not consistent improvement across the board. Uh, some companies maintained their current scores, uh, a couple of the companies scored five to ten points higher on average, and one score, one company actually had the average score lowered. So that led us to look at how effectively could we improve those pre-inspection efforts with uh, training, coaching, and mentoring. Within GROTC, we have regulations. Cadet Command, which is headquarters of the United States Army Cadet Command, specifically states our mission is to motivate young people to be better citizens. There are many assignments employed to accomplish this mission, but one of the most important methods is our weekly in-ranks inspection and the requirements for the cadets to wear the cadet uniform properly. This is a formative great event for all the cadets, uh, and also for the second and third year cadets, it is a uh, a leadership evaluation exercise for they have to do pre-inspections, form, align, prepare the company for inspection, and lead the inspecting officer through the inspection. That's what I'm wanting to know, cause if we're both from Texas, boys, let's bundle up our clothes and go. Prior to this, I always believed that leadership in certain cases can be inherited or seen to be natural born leaders, but in many other cases it's, it, they are grown, they are developed, they are mentored. And this requires you know, proper teaching, coaching, and mentoring. Uh, and with that, then these values and skills and abilities can be developed. There were four questions that I was looking to answer. Number one, how do pre-inspection tactics, techniques, and procedures influence LET1 cadet uniform inspection scores? Number two, how did effective pre-inspections uh, affect the results of the aggregate inspection scores of the LET1 cadets? Number three, what are the observed leadership quality or abilities demonstrated by the highest scoring company? And number four, what were the observed leadership abilities demonstrated by the highest scoring company perceived as inherent or can they be taught and learned and possibly shared with the other companies? They say a rolling stone never gathers no more, say as long as it's rolling along. Oh, but I don't care if I gather little moss if it's in my Texas home. In order to prepare for this, uh, research project. I did some research. One of the things I looked at was a, uh, a, a leadership study that was called the uh, Determinants of Leadership Role Occupancy Genetic and Personal Personality Factors. It was done by uh, Drs. R.V., Rotondo, Johnson, Zhang, and McGue McGue 
in 2006. And essentially it was a, it was a study of uh, identical twins uh, to, to track genetic uh, uh, personality uh, precursors that could be those things that influence a person's ability to lead. And so the study is a pretty, pretty broad study and, and, and very well done. Um, and finally, the results that they came up with was that um, while these personality traits, which they identified as uh, being key towards developing good leaders, can be inherited without proper application or opportunities for that application, those personality traits really don't mean anything. So in essence, while yes, a leader could be a natural born leader based upon those genetic personality inherited traits, without proper situations where that those traits would have to be developed and used and implemented, then they really wouldn't matter. So it would be a combination that leaders can be born, but leaders are also made. Now the second uh, part of the research I looked at was a study about uh, differentiation and uh, it was the differenti differentiated approach to learning in higher education by Arzyank, Chernok, Chernokova, Karas, and Lemenshiko in 2015. And basically what they looked at was that uh, the, the application level differentiation along with uh, difficulty, uh, whether it's application or, uh, or what level of, of, of task that is required for complexity, that basically um, that if uh, differentiated approaches are, are implemented in the educational methods, it does truly support a lasting and deeper absorption of knowledge and improve self-confidence and other personal characteristics of students. And essentially what we were looking at doing, of course, is by understanding that differentiation to apply that towards each individual leader in order to make them as better as best as they can and not a matter of just a rote memorization or, you know, just doing things out of reflex versus doing things out of what really works best for them. This project involved 80 first-year cadets, um, and basically we used their grades to determine the effectiveness of the efforts of the second and third-year cadets, and there was about 40 of the second and third-year cadets that are assigned as squad leaders. Uh, I observed their tactics, techniques, and procedures during pre-expected activities, identified uh, any of their comments during the reflection process in order to further identify what they thought they did well or where they thought they needed improvement and any uh, particular resources that they thought that they might need in order to get their best efforts. Um, and then basically between their reflection and the questionnaire, my direct observation, we put together uh, for each of the companies, except of course the high score company and the high score company, we kind of left them as a control group um, and just observed and recorded and took their reflections but the other companies we tailored any additional mentorship or training or coaching in order to improve their efforts and get them to be within five points of the highest scoring company. This project took uh, approximately uh, six weeks, and basically the first week we established baseline grades of the inspections of the first-year cadets without any leadership involvement. 
Then, of course, the second week, uh, we allowed the second and third year cadets to do a pre-inspection on their own with no specific guidance or any uh, real instructions. And then based upon those observations and reflections, uh, any after-action review from weeks, uh, the week th uh, three, four, five, and six, we, I provided uh, ad you know, additional resources based upon those reflections and any specific training aids based upon my observations and we recorded the results and then refined with each week. So in the end, basically from the inspection scores and the data we gathered through the observation and of course the feedback and reflections, um, it was determined that yes, leadership can be taught, skills and abilities can be, can be enhanced um, with specific differentiation in the uh, resources and training uh, for each individual leader. Um, and yes, while those while, while it did seem that uh, Delta Company, who consistently scored the 90 percentile throughout, um, had inherently better leadership just on their own um, and did make use of any of the training aids the other companies used as well. Um, however, uh, again, with proper training, leaders can be grown and aren't necessarily born. And also the, the scores uh, all came within five points so even the lowest scoring company uh, was in the high uh, 80 percentile uh, just just below the 90 percentile of the other companies and so the, we were able to answer all those questions now in the end though it, what will be required is this 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 is an ongoing research project that will probably have to occur every year because as every generation of leaders move up and grow old and the new leaders come into position so the new challenges with individual differentiation as well as what abilities they bring to the table. Strange as the blue up above, up above a moonlit path that only she would know. Why not you Till here's my broken song of love. Oh. in all your splendor, no, only my heart. Call back my rose, rose of sand and tone. Lips so sweet and if I could be a banker.